Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today is a very different day. So right now we're sitting in front of a funeral house where we're going to go in and buy things. I never thought I'd say it that. Okay, so the entire facility is no longer a funeral home anymore. It's an antique store. So look at all these planters. I mean, and then it goes this way. And then there's a toy room. This is a toy room. So they're going to have an estate sale, like, later on in a few months and they're gonna have somebody come in a professional come in they're gonna price everything and she's already been looking up things on you know ebay to see what she could sell things for and down here there's like this whole other area of glassware kitchen kitchen stuff gosh darn there's a lot of stuff here some good you know, some pretty good things but it's always a question of how much do they want for it you know so it's always going to be a question and um, pretty much have to ask every like everything I would have to ask individually nothing's priced which makes it a little harder and um, since they are going to be having an estate sale later on you know I can't go crazy with you know getting great deals or anything so I have to be very selective find the things that people undervalue usually and um, try to work from there but I'm gonna get an idea on their pricing. See, and it goes over there too, it's crazy. So I'll, I'll figure out, I'll pull up an item soon and we'll get an idea of what they're thinking. Full of stuff down this way. But they understand that it's a lot of vintage stuff, so that will um, make the pricing a little harder, you know. They understand the market of vintage things, so. Yeah, all these planters. I wouldn't mind getting a few. Like this horse one is really cool, but this entire room is filled up with stuff. Radios, clocks. I'm trying to find something to uh, I told ask about. You know, like find an item. That's a cool Sessions clock. Very nice. I like that. Then we've got the big light one here. Really neat. There's a cool clock. Spartus. Maybe I should ask about this one. It's a plug-in model. I don't know if it works. Eh, the dial's a little roachy looking. And this pink one is cool too. I wouldn't mind getting some of these figurines, like this little redware poodle. Or, this, this tail's broken. But there's a little cat here. Or, well, I think they're those squirrels. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting those either. All right, I just bought all of these for $30. $30. They have the little feathers on there. They're fun. They have the the real feathers and the carved the carved frames. So I paid $30 for all of them, and so that's pretty good. I should be able to get about, oh, you know, $15 each on them. So I should double my money at the very least. I'll hopefully do better than that, though. So that's nice. We'll get those. All right, I am back home and I'm going to show you everything that I bought while I was at the funeral home. Plus, I know that sounds weird. Plus, I did go back and I bought more stuff. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got. Let's start right down here in this box though. So we have some of these lunch boxes and I did buy two of them. This is, you know, it looks like an Aladdin lunch box, but it says patents pending on it. But there is that one. It may be an Aladdin lunchbox. So we've got that one. And then the metal silver one. So I've got both of those. This one has a uh, tape around it. And I didn't realize that on the handle, that it has tape. So I'll have to consider that in the pricing. Now I did pay up for these. Probably shouldn't have. I paid $10 each on those. And they'll sell for between $18 and $20. I did get these thermos the actual thermos like drinking cups and these do pretty well for me we've got this one here love the graphics on that one thermos with the cream i i want to say i paid like five dollars each on these and that is a pretty good price because they'll sell for about fifteen dollars each this one i love the colors like that is super christmas looking to me you know like minty minty like the north pole and it says keeps it by thermos so I've got that one and then the last thermos is this one 
like this green color with the red. Again, kind of Christmas colored, kind of army colored in a way too. But yeah, so we've got that one. And then it has the little Aladdin thing right on the top there. So we've got all three of those. Then I did buy this Hershey Cocoa thing. I believe I paid about $5, 4 or $5 for this. And I just had to get it. I like it. I like that it's, you know, metal. And uh, so we're going to see about that one. I'm not sure how much these are going for, but I figure I could sell this for at least 12 So maybe 12 to $14 for the old Coco tin. These are super cool. These are Culver. And I have sold Culver before, but we have the little scotch glasses. And they have the gold and the blue on them. They're really pretty. There are six of them. There are six glasses here. I think I paid... I think I paid $10 for them all. And they basically sell for about $10 per glass the last time I checked. So those were a really good find in the, like, I don't know if you call these roly poly, but they have the, the they're like little scotch low ball glasses. Uh, so there you go. Oh, Stella. 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 So now we're, up on, now we're up on the table here, and I did buy this. I just thought the graphics were fun, but look at that. It says Sticks, Bauer, and Fuller out of St. Louis, an old department store. And it has like the old ornaments on there and the birds and the feathers. I paid, I think, a dollar for this, or, or maybe two, a dollar or two. I just pictured this really pretty box underneath like a vintage Christmas tree, like a an aluminum tree. I have one of those, of course, or buy one of those ceramic trees that are very popular. But I like this. I would probably sell it for about $8 or so. Then we have one of these blow molds. I paid up for this as well. I think I paid $10 for it. Maybe I paid as much as $12 for it. But we've got the snowman blow mold made by Empire out of 1968 or there about 1968 of course they had the molds going for many years but it does this one does have some age to it so I would think that it's probably right around then there uh, it does have a replaced light socket but that doesn't matter but look at the colors on that one really cool for this piece here uh, without looking up I'm thinking about $30 resale on that one, so it should do pretty well. And then I did get some of these bird pictures with the feathers. Again, I paid up on these more than I would have preferred to. There are three of them, and they have the wood carved frames. Now, what did I pay for these? I'm trying to remember because honestly, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I was there. So I think I paid. 5, 10, 15. I thought there was another one. Wasn't there a fourth picture? Or was there just three? Um, now I'm starting to think that I paid $30. Oy, did I pay $30 for these? Why is my mind... I, I thought there were four of these. 5, 10, 15. Okay, well, I was hoping to pay $5 each. I think I might have paid $10 each. I believe I would sell these for about $15 to $20 each. So I, uh, this wasn't really a great purchase. So I, I don't know why I did that. Hopefully they turn out a little bit better than I'm thinking. Maybe the prices has, has gone up since I last... Oh, look, look, look. There we go. There's the fourth. I was thinking that was like a double thick frame right there for a second, the way that looked like a 3D frame. There it is. Okay, so... I paid $30. Now that I see four, I know that I paid $30 for four of them. So there you go. Uh, in fact, those two go together really well. So I'd probably sell the pair of those for about $30, maybe a little bit more, maybe as much as 40 for the pair of the birds like that. And then you kind of get the idea on the others. But these are really fun. I think they're from about the 30s. I think, that, I think they're about the 30s time frame. And then we've got over here this wood box has the mirror and it is a jewelry uh, like a jewelry box and it does have the the picture on the front here with the shellac that's kind of yellowed over the age but it is really pretty and you can see all the detail on that one the box i think i paid it was either i think i paid ten dollars for it it was either eight or ten dollars and i do not remember anymore and then inside here you'll note 
some figurines. I did buy this one here for uh, two or three dollars. This is a poodle figurine. It would have had two little ones with it. I have sold these in the past and they do really well, but just the single one right here, this is the larger of the three by the way, the single one here should do pretty good by itself. And sometimes you'll find just the little chained pups by themselves and you could kind of bring them back together. Or uh, I have a couple others downstairs in my stash of other animals. Could you just imagine like other dog breeds just hanging out with this one? That'd be kind of funny, like an adoption. <laughs> All right, and then we've got the this one here. Really pretty, I like that, the clear. I think I paid $2 for that cat or something that's a cat. Then the elephant is in really nice shape. I paid $2 for that one. Japan, these are mostly Japan figurines. I have a weakness for those, you know. And then I've got the squirrels, another $2 squirrel. Those are adorable. And uh, so a lot of these like figurines should be selling for about eight to $10. Here's a redware poodle, a redware poodle. Very nice. Uh, we do have a little luster, a luster dog, like a wiener dog. And this is chalkware, a little bear with his tie, chalkware wall plaque. I think all of these were $2 each by the way. That has a really pretty red color to it. It's blown glass. And then we've got another blown glass bird here. Really pretty. Has the little speckles all over it. So yeah, those should all do pretty well at around eight to $10 each. Now, I did buy this clock. It's made by Sessions. It is very mid-century, very 50s. And his Face is a little, you know, worn down, of course. I see that a lot in this specific kind of a clock, but it's actually in pretty good shape, all considered. No real chips or cracks on the plastic, and it does work. I made sure I tested that. I paid $10 for this one. I would expect to sell it for about 30. This is a really interesting green vase, and it is made by Royal Hager. People collect Royal Hager, so I made sure to pick that up, and it is in this nice green glaze, I wouldn't say celadon, but it is a really pretty green color and there's like little speckles in it. So it has nice texture to it, as you can see there. Really pretty. So there's that one. And then this one here, a really nice pink McCoy basket with its little underplate and it is marked McCoy USA on the bottom. I like this pink color. It has this kind of thatched basket, like a weaving to it. And I think this was $5, by the way. And the green one right there was $5 I paid. I will most likely sell this for about $15. And this green one, probably around 15 as well. Then I have this wall pocket right here that I picked up. This is a peacock, and it is in a majolica type glaze. This is a made in Japan piece. Uh, it's not marked that. Oh, wait a minute, it might be right there. Yeah, there it is. It is incised right there, it's stamped in to the pottery. So uh, it's in very nice shape. It's a wall pocket. There's the pocket part of it and you could put your plants in it right on the wall and it hangs with the hole. So this here I should sell for about $15, $18 with a really pretty peacock. Then I have this wonderful dog. I think I paid $4 for this one because of its size and I would sell this one for about $14, $15 or so. So that was trip number one. So that's pretty much what all I got from trip number one. Now, trip to, trip number two is back here. More things. Now, all the clocks were off limits, like I had mentioned in the video earlier, where I said that she was still looking them up. And then I saw the Starburst clock, and I know that Starburst clocks are really popular, but I just, I my brain wasn't on. I wasn't, I think maybe I was a little overwhelmed. I just wasn't paying attention. This is not complete. So it is missing the giant wood spikes, let's call them. See these little tabs? These are tabs. That's not really what it's supposed to look like. So there should be longer wood bursts, stars coming off of each one of those. It kind of works the way that it looks, but that's not really right. So it's not complete. And I paid all of $15 for this. It, it I believe, we're, and that's the other thing. I don't even know if it works. So it's a quartz movement. It was, I don't know if this was originally a quartz movement, or if it was a plug-in model. I used to have a clock, I sold it, and it was a plug-in. 
I haven't really looked into these a lot to see if they did make any quartz or battery movement ones, but this is out of the 60s for you, so. It's really awesome, and uh, I don't know. It's made by Welby. I could probably sell it as is, just the way it is, maybe for $30 or so, uh, and still do pretty well. Now, look at this here. If you are a flan, a, a flan if you're a fan of Blanco, B-L-E-N-K-O, Blanco glass, or Blinko, what am I saying Blanco for? Blinko. If you're saying, if you're a fan of, can I, oh boy, Stella, would you like to go outside? <laughs> Let's just take a little mental break. All right, that was good for me. If you're a fan of Blinko glass, here you go. So we've got the amberina. We've got the really pretty amber color. It fades up to the red and it's of this lady and the lady head is the stopper. I paid only $10 for this. I would have paid more, I think, if I would have known how much it was really selling for, but these sell for two, three hundred dollars. Now, this does have a chip on it, so I need to, to look a little bit more into what I could reasonably expect for it with the chip. I still think well over a hundred dollars, but we have the stopper right here, and it does have the, the lady's head and like her, I, I think they call that a sun, like a sun kind of a thing. But here's the chip right here. It is right here on this lip. And I want that to focus, but it's right there. It's just actually under the, on the bottom there. You see, you don't feel it from the top. It's just right here. So it's right there. That's the only chip. Everything else is in very nice shape and it is hand blown. There's the pontiel mark on the bottom where this would have been attached to a metal post and they break it off, you know, whenever they're done, but. So this should do for pretty well for me and that was a fun surprise. I actually bought it just because of the way it looked. I bought it because I figured it was different, different cells. I figured the colors were really interesting. We have autumn coming up, great autumn colors. So that's why I purchased it, but it actually is very collectible. So that was, that was it, it makes up for my clock. Uh, I did buy these Band-Aid tins. I think they're fun. We've got the Band-Aid plastic strips and the Band-Aid other plastic strips, two different styles. I paid about a dollar per tin for those and they should sell for between six about six dollars a ten. Now this one, I like it. This has a very Art Deco look to it. It's marked made in Japan, but we have the bunny and this Deco, this Deco stuff going on over here. It's just a very interesting piece. There is crazing, and you can see that. And I paid about five dollars for this. So as an Art Deco styled made in Japan piece, dates to about the 30s, I should do pretty well with it. I'm thinking about $18, 18, maybe 20. It is very different. So I'd have to look that one up and see what other examples there are. And as I talk, I'm trying to make sure what's going on here. Is that a hole or, hmm. Yeah, okay, so this looks like a little hole right here. Can you see right there? I don't know if that was due to whenever they were producing it and they needed to add a hole to make sure that it didn't explode in the kiln. I think that's a weird place for a hole when you could literally do it on the bottom of the bunny or the bottom of this whole thing. But uh, in any event, I think it's a good find. Now, okay, we've got sort of a cluster going on here, but what we have is some really interesting different little buildings and it's actually something I have never seen before. So, and I'm, at this point, I didn't even research them. K K O R E. E H. It says that right on the bottom of the bridge right there. So now when I originally saw these, I was thinking, oh, these would make a great like little Zen garden. And I don't know if that's what they're for. And there's more words written on the bottom of this one. And it is also marked Japan on the bottom. And there's that word right there. So I will do some research on that one, see if I could learn anything else about it. But I paid, I think $12 for all of these little buildings. We've got like a little pagoda kind of a style thing. So there you go. Now, yeah, I'll have to research and see what those will do, but I think they're pretty cool. So just because of the way they are, I'm thinking somewhere around 30 to 
I could be off, but I just think they're really interesting looking. I did get this Vaseline jar, petroleum jelly, plastic nursery jar, and I just like the graphics on it, 59 cents, and I think I paid like, I don't know, a, do a dollar or two for that one, and I would sell it for probably six to eight dollars. Then I also bought this little turtle. That's winking, it's a winking turtle teapot. It is marked Japan. I, well, I just made that part up. I, oh yes, it's Inesco, so this is Japan. Inesco Imports. And then uh, it's also a planter, by the way. So it's more it's more of a planter than it really is a tea, teapot. But it's cute. And then I did get one more of these planters. I like this one because of the sort of Greek-looking banding on there. It is also McCoy, and it's pink. So this should do pretty well, probably $15 to $20. I picked up Mr. and Mrs. Humpty. And so there we are with those. I believe I paid $3 for these, for the pair of those, and I think they're adorable. So these should sell for about 12, and um, they're very nice. Okay, I did get these. Now these maple leaves are something that I'm not too, um, I don't know much about them. They look to be very old. I just don't know how old. That's sort of hard because they're made of wood, and anybody could have done these. But you could see the shellac is pretty aged on there. And it's just, I mean, it's cut out. It, it looks like it was done by hand with like a hand jigsaw. So they're little shelves, by the way. And there are three of them. I paid, I think it was $6. I did pay, I paid $6 for all three, so $2 each. And uh, I think they're just really cool. So, and this is something that if anybody happens to know when these are from, you could possibly drop it down below. Uh, I was thinking it would have to be, bef not have to be, but I was thinking most likely it was before 1930. Uh, but it could, I've also heard, uh, maybe was it Barb? I think Barb said that it could be even the 1800s. I'm just not sure how you would know that. And then we have the paint by number cat. This is nice, it's a plastic frame, but I picked this up for like, I don't know, $2, $3, something like that. And this should sell for probably $12, $15 on one of my Friday night sales. And then over here, we do have some really fun paper, paper ephemera, they say. And we have the Teach Me About Birds flashcards. These I'm gonna put in as package toppers. Not only do they have fun graphics, but they have information so you can learn. You can learn all about birds. Birds, yes. And there's all different kinds. Ooh, that's pretty too. So I picked those up. I paid a dollar for the box of those cards. In the same vein of things, these would also be used as topic, topic, package toppers. And they have Scotty dogs on them. So I paid a dollar for those. And then the old maid cards. Now, those were gonna be package toppers until I realized that these are actually pretty, pretty valuable desirable and I can sell this set right here for about $20. And they have some pretty interesting uh, photos inside. I, some of them are not politically correct, but let me show you a few. We've got Flighty Fanny. <laughs> um, Bikey Bess. I'm trying to show some of these. Winnie Waite. Winnie Wait. There are a couple that I just don't want to show because they're just, I don't know. Clanky Cluck. <laughs> Stella Steno, or a stenographer, Steno. I don't know how they, but yeah, so that is, oh, and this right here. I got this in very pretty. This was $5 as well. That is a good one. And it, it may be Royal Copley, in fact. So I like it a lot. It has the stars on the back. Really pretty, and that'll probably sell for about $20 for that planter. So that was a good find as well. So all in all, I think I did really well at the funeral home. I think I found, oh, that just sounds weird every time I say it. I think I found some really interesting things. All right, so I just finished up in there and I spent $163. I think I did pretty good, but now I've got my tote full back here. I got one up here, but I, ho I hope I did well. I was paying about half of the value on everything and that's, just what's gonna happen because obviously she can 
Uh, she's going to have an estate sale and she's going to be able to get more of her things and I'm getting the first look at stuff. So yeah, you can't really expect to get really great deals like this whenever they're going to have an actual estate sale come in and the person's going to come in knowing what they're doing, price things, you know, price things really well. So there are were certain things in there that I couldn't buy, uh, like all the clocks, it, aside from the one that I, I, I got the one that I showed you, um, but most of the clocks she wanted to do research on first and, and all of that. So I couldn't get in, uh, the clocks and there were some other things that were off limits, but I did get some interesting items, but for now I'm gonna wrap up this video. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.